Hello and welcome. Let's take a look at our top story. First, it was the Chinese foreign minister. Then it was the PLA commanders. And now it is China's defense minister. People in China commanding top posts can disappear any time at the whims and fancies of, well, you know who. So today we ask this question. Where is China's defense chief, Li Shangfu? But China's opaque political system won't give you any answer. We can only report on his continued disappearance and his last whereabouts. For almost three weeks now, Li Shangfu has not been seen in public. His no-show at a military meeting has only added to the questions. His name was also not included in the state media Xinhua's report on the meeting. This meeting was attended by the People's Liberation Army leadership concerning political education. Now, General Li Zhenli, the chief of staff of the Joint Staff Department, and General Zhang Yuxia, Xi's trusted ally, were also not present at the meeting. General Li Shangfu, a veteran of China's military modernization drive, rose through the ranks to become the defense minister this year. Prior to this, Shang Fu also missed a meeting with the Vietnamese and Singaporean defense leaders in recent weeks. Reports say the minister has been placed under investigation on corruption charges. In fact, his last public appearance was at a China-Africa Peace and Security Forum in Beijing on the 29th of August, where he delivered a keynote speech. Alarm over Chinese defense minister was first raised by the United States' ambassador to Japan, Rahm Emanuel. Now, Emanuel posted that President Xi's cabinet lineup is now resembling Agatha Christie's novel, and then there were none. You see, this is how it always starts. Earlier, the foreign minister Wang Yi went missing from public view for over a month. He was later sacked from office in less than a year on the job in July, with no explanation given. When asked about China's defense minister's whereabouts, China had the same answer as always. It was not aware of the situation. Now, for more on this, we are being joined by Chong Jiayan, a non-resident scholar with Carnegie China. He joins us from Singapore. Thank you for being with us. So, Mr. Chong, what is your reading of what's going on in China with no trace of Quinn and now China's evasiveness on Li Shangfu? So, uh, it's actually really hard to understand what is going on in the PRC because the system, uh, while already not very transparent, has become far more opaque. Uh, but what I think we can observe is with the uh, disappearance of Qin, uh, Qin Gang and also now Li Shangfu, uh, there was also the disappearance of the uh, two heads of the strategic rocket force um, and also the removal of the uh, PLA's military courts. This suggests that there is some sort of shakeup in the uh, military uh, security and sort of outward facing apparatus of the PRC, uh, for what particular reason, uh, we don't really know at this point. Now, as an expert on China, how unusual do you think this is? So um, up until maybe uh, five years ago, these sort of disappearances without explanation were quite rare. Uh, there was a, um, you know, suppose an anti-corruption crackdown, but there you would see people uh, being disciplined and that would be quite public. Uh, this sort of disappearance without an explanation is something that has just become, uh, I think, more common in the past uh, year or two with very senior officials uh, within, the, you know, the past uh, year, within the past few months. Uh, so this is a sort of, I guess, different uh, in the current PRC system. It harks back to the Maoist period where people would actually uh, disappear because they were purged. Um, I think the world uh, sort of thought that the PRC had moved past that stage, but apparently some aspect of it has remained. Mr. Chong, thank you very much for being with us on this show.